Good morning. This is Carolyn Borba, and I am going to be talking about Unity in Motion. This is a DVD from uh, Lynn Hayden's library, and uh, Unity in Motion, we talk a lot about the corporate move where what we want here is we want unity, which of course means that we are uh, encouraging others, that we are, it's the quality of being one in spirit, in agreement, in movement, what, whatever, the, um, whatever the definition might be for you. But in this unity in motion, uh, on the DVD, Lynn actually teaches all the tips uh, the cl and clips that give information about transition and and the good thing about this DVD is that she actually allows the people to do the dance or to do the moves and then corrects them while they're doing that encouraging them to understand what they're doing if it isn't if it isn't like doing a correct move because you know, the main things about unity in motion is keep it simple, be repetitive, and be predictable. Because what's happening is the people with you, behind you, or beside you have to be able to do what you're doing. And so let's say that we want to speak to the congregation and we want them to be engaged in what we're doing. And so in order to do that, we would have to keep it very simple because we don't know who's in that audience, in that congregation, the audience of the congregation of the church. And if we want them to kind of get an agreement with us so that the power, the power of the Holy Spirit will be released. And then as the congregation worships, not speaking most morning, as the congregation worships with us in this unity of motion, then they also can experience that power of the Holy Spirit. So let me, for instance, I'm not sure you can see my feet. I'm just going to move this camera a little bit. Um, what I'd like to do is just demonstrate what that would be like. I'm going to increase the music. I don't know what the music is that's on here. So we're going to work with what the music is. And that's the way it would be if you were in a worship setting. So whatever music's going to come up on here, we are going to just kind of move to that music. So the unity of motion is, mostly you would have someone out front who is leading and the people behind you would be following you. If you are getting the congregation involved, then remember the mirroring, if I'm using my right hand, the congregation's using their left. So we're going to move in that type of movement. So let's see what kind of a beat we have here. Okay, so we are going to do something to the music. We want the move to be with the music. So let's say that we are She's talking about darkness, so we would do this, or this, and the people behind us would do that. But here, we're moving, so we'd be running. And what Lynn tells you is to do a four count. So what we would do there is one, two, three, four, five. Simple arm movements then. The transition goes from the foot movement to adding the arms. So let's say we do back and forth, or frontwards and backwards, and the arms go up. And it's still a four count. So let's do that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And move the feet back and forth. One, Back and forth, and that congregation is going to start. 
started doing that. This is simple, it's repetitive, and it's predictable. So we just keep doing this until we see some movement in the congregation. And once they start doing it, then we can go. is the way that you can get people engaged in what you're doing. If I were working with my team, they would be behind me and they would be doing what I'm doing. And then the good thing is that you can actually change positions. So your transition from being in front, in fact we're going to do this tomorrow, or Sunday, so to move from your front position to the back, what we've chosen to do is take a turn to the left. So as I turn to the left, the one on the end, on my right, is turning the same time and then they become the center person. Let me turn that down. So um, that would be like the activation. So you re I'm going to reiterate here. It's simple, it's repetitive, it's predictable, and the transition is one of the most important things you do. So if you are doing a side step, you want to do it four times, and you want to go the other way four times so that people can get in the rhythm of what you're doing if you're leading. So that's very important. So transition means you don't do this and then do that and then twirl around because people cannot follow you. So uh, repeat, use a four count, give others time to learn the steps that you're doing and remember that you can have all ages doing this so if you're going to be a leader then you communicate those signs clearly and here's one of the things that when we were practicing the other day I realized that you know when you're doing a worship song so many times we get we get so involved in the worship and this is okay, but when you come down in the front like this, if, the, if your team is behind you and they can't see what you're doing in front, then that becomes an issue for them. But when people change positions, what we try to tell them is, don't keep all your movements close to yourself when people are trying to follow you. So again, it's a DVD and it's, a, it's an awesome way to get your congregation involved. And we're going to try that Sunday and hope that works. So I thank you for your time and um, I hope my ironing board wasn't in this day. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs>